going on everyone? We are one day out from my contest. This morning I woke up and went to the gym and just did circuits. I did not do any cardio. It was only like 45 minutes, so very quick just to get some blood into the muscle. And now I'm gonna turn off this dishwasher, it's pretty loud. I'm having breakfast, so uh, typical breakfast, just some egg whites, one whole egg, and then some spinach in there. So nothing different than what I've been having. Now I am gonna cut out the stevia because of the artificial sweeteners uh, will make me hold a little bit more water and then it's hard to digest a little bit so I'm gonna cut out that still have the peanut butter on top of there I'm deciding whether or not to have carbs this is always the issue with me without having a coach I do it all myself so I'm always second-guessing myself when I need to have carbs uh, sometime today maybe tonight for sure tomorrow morning because I want to get a pump before the, uh, you know getting on stage and stuff so I'm really gonna play it by ear and see how I'm looking throughout the day Okay, so today I am limiting my water intake to one of these. So I have been drinking probably around three of these a day until today, so I'm only gonna be having one of these. Uh, so I uh, steeped the dandelion tea, and I'm gonna pour the dandelion tea into this liter bottle, and then I'm gonna fill the rest of it with water. So it's been steeping, the tea's been steeping for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or something. So I'm gonna wring all these out. Dangling tea bags. Ow, that's hot. That was dumb. Woo, that's hot. I don't know why I keep doing it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna pour this in here. This might not work. We'll see. Yes. Nice. So, I'm gonna fill the rest up with water and I'm gonna sip on this throughout the day. And then I also just got done cooking all this asparagus that I'm gonna be uh, snacking on and eating throughout the day too, because this is gonna help dehydrate me as well as the dandelion tea. So now it's around 3.30 and I laid down to take a nap. I really didn't fall asleep, I don't think for any more than maybe 15 minutes or something, I just laid there. I'm so exhausted right now. And I'm about to have my, I guess, third meal of the day. So I had breakfast, I had another meal of uh, cod and some asparagus and that's it and I'm starving, so I'm gonna have a little bit of broccoli. I'm gonna have more broccoli and then some chicken and more asparagus, and then I'm about to go into the bathroom to exfoliate as much as I can, and then we're gonna head out for the athlete meeting. That is at uh, six o'clock for check-ins, not athlete meeting, it's just the check-ins. It's six o'clock to eight o'clock, so we're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of early. Might be getting a burger tonight. I'm not really sure. It really depends on what I really feel like doing uh, because uh, a lot of the times burgers help me, uh, you know, bring out vascularity and stuff the next day. But at the same time, it's a mind game. Like, do I want to do that or not? Or just wait? Like, is it something that I'm just craving? So I want to go get one or is it really going to help me? I don't know. So that's really what we're playing with right now. I'm talking so quiet because Brady's in there asleep. So I want to go in there uh, exfoliate, come in here and eat, and then we're gonna head off uh, to uh, the check-ins. So now Mr. Brady's up so I can be as loud as I want vlogging. So I just got done exfoliating and shaving the little hair I do have. I don't have much at all. A lot of people ask, what do I do as far as uh, keeping myself hairless? Well, I just don't grow hair. So I shaved what I had. That's the and, trick. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick, just don't grow it. <laughs> And as you can see, I exfoliated because uh, I'm as white as a ghost right now, or even whiter than what, I, than what I was. Oh my gosh, I'm just glistening here. So Brady's up. We're about to head out to go get some Starbucks, and it takes about 45 minutes to get to uh, the check-ins, so we should be right on time. We want to get there and get done. Uh, very quickly. Last time I did this contest, two years ago, it was so quick. We walked in, walked out in about, I think, 10 minutes or something. So I'm hoping it's going to be the exact same way this time. So we just got here at the event, and I thought it was at the same place that it was two years ago. And it was an awesome location to me anyways. We are now downtown Austin. And for a lot of people, that's great. After a contest, go out to eat and stuff. But for us, because we're old and we have a baby, it sucks because of parking. This is a big like arena thing, so it's a concert going on tonight here too. Uh, not my atmosphere. 
whatsoever. Especially not yeah. on contest. Yeah, on contest prep, no, 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 no. So I'm sorry, you go by you go by Abel? Yeah. And that's what you want to be called on stage? Yes. Alright, so your men's physique open only? Yes. How much you weigh? Uh 180. Alright, I got you a five nine and a half. Alright, there you go. Alright, so Abel, I've got you in men's physique open only. Beautiful. Awesome. Good to go, man. Good Thank luck. you, appreciate it. So just got done checking in. My number tomorrow is 91. It really didn't take that long. Not at all. It was uh, very quick. I thought it was going to take longer than what it did. Every single time they measure me at a different height. This this time I was five and a half. Five nine and a half. I was. Woo. <laughs> this time I was five nine and a half. Uh, the last time I was five ten. So every single time it's just something different. I'm not even sure what height category I'm in. He didn't say. So we'll see tomorrow. It really doesn't matter to me. Uh, you know, just whatever. Now, I think we're gonna get a burger somewhere. Shelby's saying that, uh, what were you saying about yeah. hoping that people think that <laughs> you were a competitor said, in the off season? Yeah, yeah, so when you go to these things, there's always like somebody with every competitor. And so maybe it's just me, but I know it's not. You judge whether or not this person also competes and it's just in the off season, or if that would never happen in life. And so I always hope that I am not in that latter category. Yeah, so she was talking about, and she was like, I look like that, don't I? <laughs> Could I be in the off season? Just made it home from picking up the burgers. Look how delicious this thing is. So this is Texas toast. It's got hash browns, got some egg on there, and then got some fries on the side. I cannot wait to eat this. So this is gonna help fill me out because like I said, I'm flat and hardly no veins are showing up and I don't look that great. Uh, so I'm hoping that eating this uh, will kinda counteract that and make me look more full on stage tomorrow. But you know, we'll see. Now don't I look just sexy. Oh my gosh, this tan is always so bad. So we just got done tanning and Shelby literally had to paint me down uh, with this stuff in here. It took a while. Let me show you the stuff that I'm using just in case y'all want to do this yourself. I do this on every single contest, except the national ones, I get them to do it. So I will spend the $150 and let them do it because you know, it's just a pain. And a lot of the times when I travel to a national show, Shelby's not there, so she can't tan me. So uh, I use Pro Tan here. I do one coat the night before, which I just got done with, and you sleep with it, and then you take a shower. Uh, and then the next morning, before you leave for the event, I use this bikini bronzer. So this is instant tanner and you do not uh, wash this stuff off and this stuff is really dark. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up, take a shower first thing in the morning and then I'm gonna put on that other tan and then that's gonna be the last coat and I'm hoping that's gonna be dark enough. The last time I did it, which was two years ago, it was dark enough and stuff. So the plan is wake up tomorrow, get a shower, put the other tan on, eat breakfast. I did not get a steak. Uh, I've always had a steak before my contest, but I didn't go by the grocery store, totally forgot about it. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna eat tomorrow because you want something pretty dry 
and eggs aren't dry. So I'm not even sure what I'll be eating tomorrow. And then we head to the expo around eight o'clock. We're gonna get there around probably 8.45, somewhere in there. But guys, I'm gonna end the video here because I'm gonna pick up the camera tomorrow and do a full day of the show. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right guys, peace.